Welcome to another video by DJSPRC. Today I wanted to talk about the Traxxas, Traxxas ID connector. You can see all these batteries says ID. This one you can't really see it. It says ID, ID, and even this guy says ID. I get the question asked often, what is the ID? What does it do? It's pretty much simple. What Traxxas decided to do with their batteries and their charger is plug and play. Some people ask me sometimes, what rate should I charge my battery at? Um, or even simpler, what kind of battery is this? With Traxxas, you plug them in and basically press start. And I do apologize guys if these blue lights are extremely bright on the camera like you see in the charger in front of you right now uh, it's an easy peak dual on this side it says NIMH and this side says LiPo the INMH is basically at 1200 milliamp 7.2 these guys here you can charge at 2 amps no problem the charger decided to put at 2 amps itself this one here, it's a 3-cell 4000. It's set at LiPo at 4 amps. And this guy here has a mode high output. If I flip the switch and put this battery on this side, or let's say it would have been this 7200, uh, 7600, this will jump at 7 amps. Could even go at uh, eight if you wanted to. And the reason that it knows this, if I unplug this guy here, it's gonna start waving at us. Now, this is a 5,000. If I plug it in, it will know it's a NIM. An IMH, and it'll go at this max four amps. Now, if I flip this switch here, it will go at five. But again, it knows. Now, just to make sure to show you guys that doesn't matter. This is a LiPo 2 cell. Plug it in again. It knows it's a LiPo. It goes in balancing mode. 4 amps. That's its max. Again, if I flip the switch, high output, it will go higher. And the reason that the charger knows what's happening is in the connector itself, there's a chip right here. Now, this chip tells you a lot. And I'll try to bring this a little bit closer because see if it's gonna focus. Come on. Mm, doesn't seem it wants to. Right here, I try. I open one, and you see the chip. It's a round dial. Right here. It's masked by uh, an epoxy right here. Now, on this chip right here, it basically tells the charger what kind of battery it is, okay? What voltage it is and what's the milliamp of it. Every information this, that this charger needs to know. Now, there's no physical way in a sense that you can tell the charger, charge this one as a LiPo. You can't. When you plug it in, it will know. Again, on this side here, you un I unplug this one. I'll plug in the NIM. It notes the NIM, it's a 2 amp. Now, what I'll try to do is bring zoom in a little bit more, hoping that the glare is not too bad. I do apologize, guys. Again, if I unplug this guy, it will surge. I'm going to unplug this guy here, too. Now they'll both surge. I surge, should I say? They go up and down. Even if I take this one here that has no batteries on it, 
and I plug it in, it still has the chip. It won't do anything because it doesn't see any current. And the way that Traxxas designed their connector here, you'll have your two main ports, positive and negative, and you'll see two holes in the corners here. This is the balancing port. Now, if we look at our wire, our positive is normal, our negative here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a third wire right here. If I look at this 2S, you see the third wire is right here. Now, if I grab our 3S, our black is right here, and, our, and a secondary red right here. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. I'll try to bring this down. On the main connector, you have one here, and you have your black here. No, sorry about that. She doesn't want to zoom, zoom in, but uh, focus suddenly. There we go. You got both here. This one doesn't have it because this comes from a 2S battery. That's why you only need one. Technically speaking, you have your ground and your two, your two cells. And the NIMH batteries, they don't have this. It's just basically low voltage. And not low voltage, but 7.2 volts. These are 7.4 and 11.1 and so on and so on. That's why these guys don't need it. But the chip tells the charger anyway what kind of battery you're charging. And what safe amperage it is to charge it to. It tells the charger this is a 1200. It's safe to charge it at 2 amps. This guy's a 4000. It's safe to charge at 4 amps. That's why the charger goes to four. Same thing, this guy here, it goes to 76. Charger will go at probably seven amps. Now, depending on the charger you get. Now, this charger too can charge basically tra non traxxas batteries. I do have a video explaining how to do this. If you want to guys check my videos by removing one of these doors here. Yeah, let's do this one here. You have your ports right here. Now in this video, I won't show this one, but I do have a video. If you look at my description, uh, you'll see the video here, how to charge a, a non traxxas battery with an easy peak. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell in the corner to get notified when I upload videos. Thank you.